San Diego State coach Sean Lewis' installation of the Aztec Fast offense has been aided by two transfers who are very familiar with his system. One of them is running back Marquez Cooper, who played for Lewis at Kent State from 2020 to 22. The other is tight end Michael Harrison, a graduate transfer from Colorado who blossomed last season with Lewis as his offensive coordinator. The six foot three Harrison, who converted from wide receiver to tight end before the 2023 season, had 31 receptions for 284 yards and five touchdowns last year for Colorado. At San Diego State, the former CU walk-on will pair with USC transfer Jude Wolf to give the Aztecs potentially one of the best tight combos in school history. They're stepping into a room at San Diego State that has a lot of tradition, said SDSU senior offensive analyst Ryan Lindley, who is working with the tight ends this season. Lindley mentioned recent tight end standouts like Gavin Escobar, Daniel Brunskill, David Wells, Kahale Waring, and Daniel Bellinger before reaching back to the 1980s and Rob Avalt. All of them went on to play in the NFL. I try to remind them weekly in camp that this is a position group that's had a lot of tradition and a lot of success here, Lindley said. They've got big shoes to fill. Lewis said Wolf and Harrison give us some real position versatility. Mikey's familiarity with the system, his background, more of a wide receiver and his feel in space, and then Jude, a little more mass. They have a thirst for the game. Both Jude and Mikey, they're competent across the board in all the skills they need to have. Those kinds of tight ends can be cross-trained, almost like transformers, where one play their inline tight ends, another play one's in line and one's detached. It just causes stress for the play call on the other side. Wolf enrolled at the start of the year and acclimated himself during spring football. Harrison arrived just two months ago, but already is making an impact. Here are five questions with Harrison. What was it about Sean Lewis that made you want to follow him here? Harrison, I think he understands my skill set. With our games last year, he did a good job play calling to my strengths in certain situations. That's something I valued. We had a good relationship on and off the field. That was important going into my last year of eligibility. Really, wanting to stay in the same offense for more than one year. Over four years at Colorado, I would say I was never in the same offense for more than one year. Having a coach that, obviously, believed in me and was play calling to my strengths, that's something as a player that you want to stay in for more than one year in a row. Harrison, it's a good battle right now. Obviously, it's hard to pinpoint who's on top right now. There's definitely a good battle between the three of those guys. They all throw a good ball. I have no complaints with who is throwing me the ball. There's certain times, even in one-on-ones, I don't know who's throwing me the ball. There's consistency with who's back there. That's what you want at this point in camp. I'm confident we're going to get the best guy out there. There's a big opportunity for that this year. I've been thinking that since before I got here. Obviously, I knew who he was. He scored against, for USC, last year at Colorado, so he's been on my radar. He's a good player. He's got a lot of versatility. I can't say enough good things about his game and what he brings to our offense. I think there's a lot of upside to having us 12 personnel, two tight ends. Obviously, I want to be biased about keeping the tight ends in the game. I think there's a good benefit to having us in the game. Someone's going to be in there doing good things for the offense. I think walk-ons are always going to be some of the hardest working guys on the team. If you look at all 134 FBS college teams, there's a lot of these guys who started their careers as a walk-on and are finishing as a backup or a starter. I think that alone adds value to bringing guys in that are not necessarily four and five-star recruits or three-star recruits. They start as a walk-on and earn their way up to a starting job. It allows there to be a bigger pool of kids to pull from to get the most talented starting 11 on each side of the ball. I actually got a late start to football. My first year of high school football at San Francisco Street Ignatius Prep was my senior year. It would be hard to say they overlooked me. There's not that many Power 5, group of 5, FCS programs that are looking for guys who just played their first year of high school football as an 18-year-old. You want guys that have experience. I wouldn't say I was overlooked coming out of high school. Maybe I could have had more opportunities, but I'm not upset with the way it went. It all went the way it was supposed to go.